Hey guys, it's Judy, and I just wanted to share a couple of layouts with you. I actually have two, four, I think five layouts. Um, so it's basically a killer kit um, from the Coco Daisy June kit, which was called Candy Shop. So um, I really didn't have much left. I had maybe one whole sheet of paper and a lot of scraps, which I could definitely use for Project Life. And then I also... Um, had a bunch of wood veneers and and um, some label stickers left so I pretty much used everything so I'm happy with it I was very happy with the kit so here's my first layout <clears throat> um, there's like a pink cardstock and I used the twine um, over here and I just um, I think there's four and it came with like the ombre um, twine and um, I stapled it down using um, my tiny attacher over here and then on the bottom as well so that's that this paper I believe is the pier and um, this paper and this paper are the same and the chevron are the same I just love the look of this and <clears throat> yes I know I'm like pink um because my nieces um wore pink so I was like yay I get to use pink <laughs> in my layout so that's what I did um this is um during my 40th birthday which was this past um November and I went out to California and it was so nice to have my the my son and his cousins kind of play together. Um, growing up, I live like next door to my cousins, so we were playing all the time. So here we're on the west coast. They're on the uh, they're on the west coast, and we're on the east coast, so it's totally um, far apart. So it was nice to see them um, play and interact and get to know each other. Um, so um, I used paint on that paint splatter the sprays so I use the Heidi Swap um, I believe Sweet Cherry and Primrose and then I also use the Opaque White Mr. Huey's so I just did the little um, flick over here um, this came with a kit um, this is one of the labels that came with a kit as well as as this is this is um, I think a Evolicious um, these labels are like Lisa Gibbons um, brand um, banners and that. And then I just added my own washi over here. And um, this Cousins is, um, I have it here, of the thickers that it came with, but it's like in a white fabric. And it's called Everywhere. But what I did was, it's a canvas. It's a canvas. So what I did was I used my little. Um, finger dauber and I used what did I use raspberry jam it's a hero art um, shadow ink and then but I thought it was a little too dark so then I ended up using a little of the soft blossom as well so I just kind of dabbed it around not I don't know if I wanted an ombre effect but it was just kind of dabbing <laughs> Um, I did add a freckled fawn heart over here that says love. The doily came with a kit, but I did spray that in, um, that is, uh, October afternoon sprinklers, sprinkles, sprinklers, um, in pink balloon, I believe, in Midway. It's part of the Midway, I think, collection. So that's that. Um, and the buttons came in the kit as well. So, and this is a smaller photo. It's not, um, it was originally 4 by 6 but there was a lot of blank space at top, so I just cut that off and trimmed it to fit. So that's that one. My other one, this is, um, Hungry Hungry Hippo. Once again, same thickers, and then I just same, I use the same raspberry jam tone on that um, and this is just a picture of my son and husband playing Hungry Hungry Hippo I loved it as a child and he's loving it now so he gets to like tap 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 and, and a lot of action a lot of pressing so definitely loves that so 
Um, this is the card stack that came with it. Um, and this paper, um, I just cut into strips and then I put it into this paper. It's, um, oh, great. I think it's about a Simple Stories Coco Daisy exclusive, maybe. And yeah, I just cut strips of it and put it on a diagonal. This is a 4x6 photo. I matted it on this cardstock. Um, that came with the kit. This did not come in the kit. I added that, the darker green, and I did do some line drawing with my metallic um, gold. I believe it's a Zig Rider. Yeah. So I just used that. Oh no, it's an EK Success. Is it Zig? EK Success. So I did that. Um, I just outlined it. These were the same thickers, like I said. This is, I think, Wonder or Delight in that teal. Um, these are Evilicious um, um, die cuts that came in the kit. And the doily. Um, I think this is Chartreuse in Heidi Swap that I sprayed. And what else? Yeah, and then I, I also, while I was doing the dauber for this, I kind of put dots all around the page as well. And then um, I did use, I think, Gold Lame. I, I, I did the little um, tapping thing, flicking. And then it also has the chartreuse as well. And then I just also die cut a circle here um, out of one of the papers as well. I don't know which <clears throat> where that's from, but that was really cute too because it was like a um, paper full of borders, and I just did a circle of that. And what was I gonna say? I think I guess that's it. Um, on to the next one. I was gonna say something. Oh well. Anyway, so here we go. This is layout number three, and um, this was based on, oh, it just got brighter. Oh, my light just kind of flickered on. Anyway, um, this is part of the cha challenge that I know um, Lisa, she's Maggie Milo, and Sandra, um, Sandra, she's um, Osnap Gonzo. They had a thing where doing, they were challenging themselves to use Project Life um, cards or something Project Life in uh, into a scrapbook page, like a regular scrapbook page. So, since the Coco Daisy kit had the Simple Stories um, cutouts, they have like their own exclusive paper with Simple Stories. The, you know, they had like these. Um, I believe these look like four by fours. Um, so I, though I just cut them out of the sheet, and um, it was like a whole sheet of them. I think it's like the, the candy shop, yeah, this one here, candy shop elements. So there was a bunch of them, so I just cut them out, and then um, I I actually matted it on a white cardstock, and then I used washi tape all along here. I know this is freckled fawn, the zigzag. I also put like a chevron um, washi over here. Because this is also a journaling card, so it looked like it was a 3x4 little pocket, and like 4x4s, and 4x6. Um, so same thickers. I This time I daubed it in, um, I believe, the Soft Pool by Hero Arts. And this came with a kit, the little flare, I believe, Ormaloo? But I'm not sure. No, I'm not sure. And then they had these little asterisk... Um, wood veneers over here that I also um, dabbed in the soft pool. Um, these labels as well came in the kit and then I used one of my um, roller date stamps that says best date ever here and then I also did in stays on the date because um, I put it on the washi. And more banners over here that were from the Lisa Gibbons um, collection and I believe the Paper. I love this paper. Um, I'm trying to think. 
don't want to give you the wrong thing. Um, I think it's Ellie's studio, but I am not totally sure. Um, but it says like love this all over. And um, these flowers I are prim, I believe. I got it Tuesday morning, so that's that. This is of when um, we went to the Turks and Caicos for our 10th anniversary, so that's that. I actually have two more layouts. I am going to stop here and upload another two later. Okay, bye.